Yeah, this Jacob chap's a bit of a dead meme at this point, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure the hatred is still there for a, uh, for a very good reason. But when I realize as I grow up, is that it's just a hit or miss. Are you fucking kidding me? You seriously trying to give me life advice? Your balls haven't even dropped! However, nothing really deeper than he bad has really been said about him. So, right here, right now, I'm going to make the greatest, smartest, philosophical, literist analysis video on Jacob Sartorius in the entirety of YouTube. In just 60 seconds or less, go! <gasps> so you got this kid, Jacob Sartorius, who discovered this cancerous app called Musical.ly, which is basically the incarnation of death of talent, so it's written perfectly, and he swiftly gained an audience. Somehow, I don't know, he's attractive, I guess. And then some rich cunts came along and were like, Hey, instead of finding some fresh talent trying to build them up from nothing, this kid's already got an established fan base on the internet. Of course, it's got a 100% success rate, dibs. So the kid's parents sold this soul to the rich cunts, got him to read out some generic millennial song lyrics, had some studio auto-tune process and demonically imbued it into whatever the basic bitch fan girls usually wipe their vagina views over, marketed the ever-loving fuck Christ out of it, and Spazango, the 13-year-old's parents and rice gum are now making more money, pussy and money than any of us will ever see in our collective lifetimes, and that is the story of yet another talentless hack's rise to fame in the year 2017. <laughs> so yeah, that's my thoughts on this flash in the pan pop star that has been forgotten the next six months, and isn't even worth wasting the time trying to spread out to exploit for ad revenue. Oh, and I'm sorry, Captain Contrarian McCuckface, but if it looks like shit, smells like shit, and tastes like shit. You should probably see a therapist. Point is, yeah, it kind of sucks that a 13-year-old is literally getting told to kill themselves, but come on. Do you really think this kid gives even the slightest milliscule of a flying fuck about it? With all his millions and his Spotify's and fangirl posse, I'm sure he's perfectly content with the lifestyle he has right now. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We can bitch and complain about lowest common denominator tripe all we want, but it doesn't really matter. People are going to enjoy things, no matter how morally reprehensible you may personally think they may be. <sighs> it's not going to change anything. The cycle is just going to keep on spinning. <laughs>